had a lot of, um, of course, schools in our area, mm -hmm. social studies classes, who watched the events as they unfolded today. Yeah, really a day of history. It's been already compared to Pearl Harbor, many people uh, comparing today's terrorist attacks to that. Kerry Schwartz was in a classroom today with some of the students as this unfolded. And Kerry, uh, what was that like for you today? Well, I'll tell you, Keith and Allison, definitely the sentiments of the students is that they say the destruction that they watched on live television has completely changed their vision of America and what it means to live here. Now, those students who are old enough to understand what happened today say mostly what they're frightened of is what might happen next. Images on a television screen consume this classroom of America's future. A voice hundreds of miles away tells a story that brings one word to their minds, war. To think that after this something awful could happen, I mean we could have war and think I have brothers that are aged and they could be drafted, it's horrible. Behind their eyes, thoughts of family, friends and so many senseless deaths. To me it's more sad than anything because just the thought that maybe one of our family members could be on that plane. There's so many people in this school that have family up there and it, it's really just, it's almost like Pearl Harbor. It's like, you know, maybe if you didn't have family over there, it'd still hurt all over the country and that's what this is doing right now. As students continue to watch, their questions echo the sentiments of the nation. I don't know how such this big thing could happen without finding out the reasons behind it and why it occurred. It's just shocking because we wouldn't expect it to happen here. We wake up every day and we go out and have our little routine and then today it changed. Of course now the country waits to hear from the president to find out where we go from here. I'm Carrie Schwartz reporting live in the newsroom.